Hey everyone, it's Justin Hemminger here with Apex Realty Group, and we've been helping folks buy and sell real estate in Fairbanks for over 10 years. And if at any point in this video you have questions about the real estate market, uh, drop it in the comments below, or you can reach out to us directly at 907-885-0316. You can also find our website and email in the description if you want to view all the latest properties for sale in Fairbanks. Let's get into it. Reason number one, the amazing summers. Summers last from about mid-May to September here in Fairbanks, or mid-September rather, and they are a Unbelievable. The the sun shines up to about 20 and a half hours in the summer uh, at the summer solstice, and temperatures hover in the mid 70s and can get up into the, the 80s and 90s sometimes. And summers are the absolute number one thing about living in the interior of Alaska. We can garden like crazy. There's insane amounts of sunshine, and don't forget, we've also got the Midnight Sun baseball game at Groton Field, uh, the the only baseball game played at midnight without artificial lights. It's it's really cool. Number two reason, the, the Northern Lights. Top of everyone's must-do list for the interior of Alaska is to see the Northern Lights, and um, they they're really awesome. They're they're really cool. Uh, the lights are, are generated when energy or energized particles from the sun slam into the Earth's upper atmosphere and they're amazing. You can see them at kind of the north end of the planet and the southern end of the planet. And they, they range from pale green to, to breathtaking reds and purples if you're lucky. And although they're, they're active year round, you can really only see them well in the winter when it's dark. Uh, check out the link below for, for the, the Geophysical Institute at the University of Alaska Fairbanks for an up-to-date aurora forecast. Uh, before I forget, leave a, uh, leave a comment below if you want a copy of our Fairbanks Relocation Guide. And also, be sure to subscribe for more Fairbanks-related real estate content. Reason number three, the great outdoors are really right out your front door. Um, there's something for just about everyone when it comes to taking advantage of what the interior of Alaska has to offer, whether it's hiking or biking or hunting or fishing or camping or, or just being out in nature. It takes about five minutes to get off the beaten path. And when it comes to outside activities, if you can't find it here, it likely just doesn't exist. Um, reason number four, believe it or not, Thai food. I said it, Thai food. I've, I haven't lived a, a sheltered life when it comes to food. I've been around the world. I've experienced food in all kinds of places. And that being said, I had not had Thai food until I came to Fairbanks. Since I've been here, I've eaten a lot of Thai food. And there are a ton of Thai restaurants in Fairbanks and they're all amazing. I've not had one bad Thai experience in Fairbanks. Um, it's really good food. Not only that, but the selection of gluten and dairy-free options is huge, which is super important for my family because we've got all kinds of food allergies. So check out the Thai food. Um, number five, the people. I have never lived in a place with people that are both super reclusive and willing to go out of their way to help out their neighbors when they, you know, more than in the interior of Alaska. I've been stuck on the side of the road at 50 below and had more people than I can count stop and try to help. The general rule is if you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. But if you need help, you won't have to wait long before Alaskans show up. And I said at the beginning of this video that there's there might be one reason why you, you might consider not coming to Fairbanks. and. The big one is the winters, and there's no getting around it. It gets cold. For instance, it's it's January 7th, and it's 37 degrees below zero. It gets cold, and it stays cold. It gets dark, and it stays dark. Um, the winters are tough, but without the winters, we wouldn't have, or we really wouldn't be able to see the cool northern lights that were the number two reason for, for why coming to Fairbanks is so awesome. Not only that, but it doesn't stay dark. Well, I mean, I did say it stays dark, but it doesn't stay dark the entire winter. As we get closer to, to March and April, not only do we get a little bit more light, but the temperatures increase as well. And there's this really sweet spot in March and April where we're hovering you know, in the, the mid 20s to mid 30s and there's a little bit more sunshine. We're outside and it's like t-shirt weather and we get to experience being outside in the winter and it's actually comfortable and it is a blast. The amount of activities that you can do in, in that time period is awesome. Um, it's really a cool time to be in Fairbanks, so you should definitely check it out. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. Uh, if you're looking to buy or sell any real estate in Fairbanks, feel free to give us a call, 907-885-0316. Thank you and have a great day.